Welcome to 19 Things That Women Do That Men Absolutely Love, or however I decide to title this video. So anyway, it's going to be something similar to that. So I was watching this video that went viral a little while ago, and this girl, uh, what is the name of her video? Let's see here. It is Things Guys Do That Girls Love. I'll just entitle mine, Things Girls Do That Guys Love. And she had like 24 things that her and her friends uh, came up with that they loved. And while I was watching it, I actually made my own list of things that guys love. And my list was short, as girls use much more words than men do a day. They're at 24, I'm at 19. And I thought of all the things that I like, including things that guys have told me that they like. Now, let's get it in. Listen up, ladies, because I'm telling the damn truth, all right? Now, number one, and they are in no particular order, okay? Cook for us. A way to a, ma a man's heart is through his stomach and something else, but they play 50-50, okay? So half of the time, you gotta win his heart through something else. Half of the time, you're winning it through your cooking. There is nothing better than a woman that can cook a good meal, especially, especially, no E, especially when we come home from a hard day of work or whatever it is that we do, and there is a oh, great smelling hot meal waiting for us. There's nothing better than us, and it makes us feel catered to and taken care of. Okay? Number two. A clean house just being clean period so if the woman is clean especially like at my age and I'm an adult if I come to a woman's house eventually and I see how she takes care of her house see we equate how clean your house is to how clean your coochie is just how it is if you, you got a dirty nasty house we also think that you're dirty down there so it just I go to women's house and it's clean you know, it just makes us think the most of you as a woman. Uh, number three, oral. Oral's the best thing on the planet. It's the best thing you could ever do for your man. It will solve ev almost every single problem that your relationship has. <laughs> on a serious note, we love it. Don't forget it. You can't even date me if you don't do it. So that's it. And that's the only sexual thing I'm talking about. In this list. Next, this is related to cooking for us, making us a plate. If we ever go to a family function, a barbecue, cookout, whatever you want to call it, wedding, whatever it is, and you cook our, you make our plate for us, again, it makes us feel catered to. We feel special. And it's just something about that, the nurturing side of what a woman is. See, everybody should know their role. Men have a protective, um, providing role. Women have a nurturing, um, you know, uh, uh, role to them. And it makes a man feel very good when you make our plate for us. Number one, two, three, four, five. When you, we like this. And I saw this in a video a girl did a while ago. And I was like, she's right. She's right. I love that shit. When you call us a man. When you say you're such a man, like it could be something like it literally could be as bad as our feet stinking or something when we take our shoes off. And you can say, you are, oh, my God, you are such a damn man. It's a compliment to be called a man. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, even if it's a good thing, like if it's us taking charge um, of a situation when we're out and you say you are such a man like that. There's nothing. I'm telling you, girl, we our chests gonna be out like this all day long when you say st stuff to us like that. If it's the best, though, we're gonna be like, right, go ahead with that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting flattered right now, and I ain't nobody said that to me right now. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> all right, next. Number uh, six, if you, if you joke with us, 
Usually in relationships, the men are the jokesters. We're usually the ones that are making all the jokes. We're usually the ones bringing all the comedy into a relationship. And sometimes y'all will play off of us making it better, but I like a girl who can joke with me, okay? I've literally only dated two women. It was funny is they knew each other and they used to be friends. Fucking made me split my sides. And it's actually sexy to us when you're a girl that's got a nice, a good sense of humor. Not just laugh with us, but do shit to make us laugh. We love that shit. Um, next is being a lady. If there's anything out there that a man loves, we love a woman with class. Okay? Any woman could be a skank. You know what I mean? Somebody that's ratchet, uncouth. But we love a woman that's a lady. Somebody that is to be respected. You want somebody that your mama and your grandmama would respect and love. Someone you are not afraid to introduce to all of your family and all of your friends. See, there's some girls you can introduce to your friends. And they, the guys, they know right away. Uh, yeah, we know what the deal is here. He ain't taking her home to mama. But if we can introduce you to both and we feel that pride in you, it's one of the best things. Next is massage our shoulders. There's something about when a woman, you know, if we're, if we're going through something, or even if they're not, say we're just watching TV, we're watching movies together, and you're in the right position on the couch, wherever it is, and she just gets behind you and uh, starts massaging your shoulders. And just talking to you, asking you, talking to you, asking you questions, stuff like that. That makes us feel like a man. That's another part of catering to us. But it makes us feel tended to um, and nurtured in a way, you know. And all these things that I'm naming, by the way, will get you married. Not one of them, but many of them in combination, Okay. There's a certain things you're gonna, I'm going to say, you're like, well, I don't need that to make, get a man to marry me. And that's true. You just understand where I'm coming from here. Sorry for the squeaky chair, by the way, y'all. Next is, <laughs> say I love you first. Men hate feeling vulnerable. Women are almost, in a way, used to feeling vulnerable. I think it's because you're more of an emotional creature than we are, or at least you express your emotions a lot more than we do. And the fact that we have to chase you in the first place, you know, we have to chase, we have to pursue, we have to ask you out, we have to ask you to marry us, we have to ask you to be our fiance, we have to ask you to be our girlfriend, we have to ask you out on dates, ask you this, ask you that. For you to say that you love us first takes a lot of pressure off of the man. I'm not saying it has to be done, but we love it when it happens. I've, till this day, only, and what's the weirdest thing, <laughs> till this day, I've only told one woman that I loved her first. And she was, she was special, all right. Ended up being the worst decision of my fucking life, and I mean the absolute worst. But, at the time, I was, I was overwhelmed. And that showed... For me to do that, for a man to do that, you are extremely special, okay? Just so you know. So if you feel like telling a man, tell him. Um, although I know there's plenty of men that will say it first. I'm just saying, okay? Um, we like also, next, we like when you claim us. When you say, that's, <laughs> that's my man. We like that shit. You know, men, women like getting us jealous. And, and, and you're acting all crazy sometimes, but we really do love when you claim us. It's nice. Not in a too jealous way, but just in the baby bear way. Just the right amount of claiming. When you're like, you're my man. Sometimes we'll hear you talking to your friends. You're like, yeah, this girl's in there. Like, Look, that is my man. I, I know, really? I'm your man, huh? Girl, I just might eat your good name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... Uh, next, show us that you love children. When you show us that you love children, 
there's that whole maternal thing. When a man's looking to settle down, the majority of men are looking to find a wife, a good wife, that we can have children with. More importantly, we want you to be a good mother. There was a girl that I dated. I used to wait tables. And she loved children. She's a teacher today. And I remember thinking to myself, there was one point where I, we worked, like I said, we worked together. I saw her holding a customer's baby. And she just loved holding the baby so much. And I was like, wow. I didn't think about it before, but she might make a really good mother. If this goes further. Hmm. I know everything's okay in that area. Um, next is compliment us. Now, we don't, mo <laughs> secure men don't need this that much. And I think men look at compliments differently than women. So, a secure man, you know, women like the little, the little sweet nothings. Like, hey, you look pretty. That's a nice dress, nice shoes. I love you what you do with your hair. You like all that stuff. Secure men don't need it, but we like to hear from time to time. Mmm. Damn. You know. Ooh, I like that suit on you. I love that shirt. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like that, I eat up. But I don't need it. And I would say, I, I I can only think of one woman complimenting me that I was interested in within the past year. and But when she did it, I was like, <laughs> yeah. You know what, girl? I just might be joking to you tonight. Anyway, so next is, um, this is huge on me, and I didn't ask any other man about this. I've never been told anything from any other, but I know there's a bunch of guys that don't agree with me. And I always have to see it kind of from the side on an angle. But when a girl hoists her hair up, this thing that y'all do, when you're getting ready to like pull your hair up in a bun, or make a ponytail, or do something like that, when y'all start... Y'all, y'all like shit. I'm like, I feel like a bitch doing this, but y'all sometimes y'all be like, I'll never forget. I went to this club. Never forget. I went to this 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 Latin club, and this girl that I knew just got off the dance floor. And she was all she was all glistening and sweat looking, and she was looking good, man. So she shakes her hair out <laughs> and she starts doing that shit. You know, about to put her hair up. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Girl, you know what? I just might eat your... <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I realize it's something you have to do just to put it up. It's just normal shit. Turns me the fuck on. I love it. Next. Smell good. Jesus. Girl... <sighs> I cannot tell y'all how, you know, women love when men smell good. It drives me nuts. I mean, I mean, it drives me nuts. Whether it's your hairspray, whether it's your body spray, whether it's your perfume. I don't care. Man, when a girl smells good like that, I mean, it just, it just, it's just, it's, oh, shit, she look, oh, and she smell, oh. Lord Jesus, it just, it's like, girl, I just might eat your coochie. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh, I'm just thinking of girls I know that smell good. Anyway, so next, if you know how to do your hair and makeup to perfection. I was talking to my boy about this the other day, and... Because he was going through Instagram and he was showing me these girls and, and I was like, perfection. He was like, I know, right, man? It's like, it's like you could put a ring on it right now. And while that may be superficial to y'all, like I said, this is a combination of things that will get you married. If you, uh, it, man, you, it just makes us, you know, girls, you know how a lot of you like to be cared for? intended to by a man, whether it's him buying you things, um, treating you like a princess, showering you with gifts. You have no idea how taking care of your hair and face, this whole the combination with the smell good and all that is just, oh my God, and I'm adding one more to this list. 
uh, at the bottom because I didn't even think about it until now. It just it makes us look at you like a goddess, okay? And we will we will take so good. good, good. Look, I'm telling you, if it, it, it makes us say, girl, I, you just might get your. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, next. A good dancer, Lord, Lord, if you can seduce me with your dance, it is nothing worse than seeing a beautiful woman that can't dance. That's the worst thing in the world because you drop in sexy points. But if you, man, look, if you can, if you, whatever it is, it could be hip hop, okay? to just grinding and moving to Latin dance to belly dancing girl if you can work it you gonna get your ass married and if you out with me then girl I just might eat your teeth tonight you know what I'm saying that, that's how a great dancer affects me okay and guys love it trust me cause we think if you can dance you know you can do something else really well uh, next it's funny that this was on the girls list kind of but this is on my list she said that girls like when men let them fall asleep on her on them and we don't move and we just it's something about that men love and we don't do this a lot but men love to be able to if we're laying on the couch watching a movie, Netflix, whatever it is, to be able to lay on your chest and get comfortable. I'm not going to fall asleep on your chest. But it's something really comforting. It's really nice to have a woman in your arms. There's something nice about it, to be able to lay on a woman. And, you know, with girls, and it don't matter whether you got a big chest or a small chest. There's something about holding you and laying on you. It's real comforting to a man, and it really makes him feel like he got a woman. It's something, it's something I can't really totally explain, but I love it. Next, um, if you're genuinely, genuinely um, interested in guy stuff, now look, we don't need this to get married, but what I'm saying is this is stuff like. Um, you know how every girl wants a guy to go see chick flicks? But what if your man was honestly, genuinely interested in chick flicks and musicals and stuff like that? Stuff like that, okay? Yeah, you get it. If you are in the video games, if you are in the Dragon Ball Z and cartoons and MMA and boxing and wrestling, and, and football and baseball and basketball and arm wrestling and you know and watching 300 every day for 30 days and getting amped um you know what I mean like stuff like that Marvel movies DC movies you know if you look you know what I'm saying shit I've only met one girl that I dated who was into shit that I was into before she dated me. Before. Because one girl got into everything I was into because I introduced it to her. And it was cool because she genuinely was interested in it after I introduced her. But one, I'll never forget, it was Dragon Ball Z. Um, I was just talking, I was in a comic book store with her. And this was back when Dragon Ball Z came out on VHS tapes. Yeah, we just starting to come out, and it was one of the ep one of the tapes that was part of the Frieza saga when Goku arrived on Earth. I'll never forget it because I wanted that tape so bad. I was like, "Damn, fuck! I ain't bring no money for this." It's before everybody was really carrying around credit cards like that, and uh, um, I had said that, and you know, she was like, "You watch Dragon Ball Z too?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" I was like, oh, Lord, because this was in the first few days of me dating her. And she ended up buying it for me as a gift. Like, the next time I saw her, she had it all ready for me. And I was like, yeah. I was like, shit. The ring is going on your finger as long as everything else falls into place. And next is um, being able to dress. Now, this is going to go in hand 
with the hair and makeup and the smelling good. If you know how to dress head to toe, I was just speaking with a friend about this the other day. If you can be that, oh, fuck, if you can be that gorgeous ass, when I'm saying, I'm thinking about this, some women I've dated and I know that it's just, oh, just pristine, exquisite from head to toe. It only makes us want to worship you. And I don't mean that in a punk, simp ass, bitch boy, fuck boy way. No. I'm just meaning taking care of your woman. We just fucking. Like, girl, you just might. I just might eat your <laughs> tonight, right now. Okay, before we go to the club, you and my kitchen table have a meeting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. It, <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to say about it. And last, but certainly not least, being yourself. This was actually on that girl's list. And what I mean by this is I admire women who are not afraid to be themselves. No matter how quirky you are or crazy you are, you might do something that actually might throw me the fuck off. But I'll respect it. I'm like, shit, that girl, what? Uh, oh, it's just thing you do? Uh-huh. All right, well, you, you crazy. But I'm like, damn, I really respect her for having the ovaries to do that in front of me. I like you. I like you. So that is my list, ladies and gentlemen. Um, gentlemen, I'd like you to tell me whether you agree, disagree with me. Make sure you post your comments down below and let me know what I missed that's on your list. And ladies, let me know what you thought about my list of what things girls do that guys love yeah one million subscribers woo can't get out of my chair woo